guys, it's Nikki Momo here, and uh, welcome back. We are going to be doing cosplay stuff since today is my day off, and I have been working on the side of crafting for like my store and whatnot. Today, we are going to attempt to work on the turtle shell. Um, I will show you the one thing I did off camera. I was over at my friend's house the other day because I was picking up my sewing machine and I decided, hey, let's have a cosplay craft day, and we did. She's working on a costume for Katsukon, and I'm just working on a cosplay for MTech. And while we were hanging out, as I was helping her out, I worked on Bowsette's tail. This is it right here, uh, the little spikes and all that. It is made of that suede uh, fabric that I showed you in my fabric haul video. I just picked up my neighbor's ball so I can draft. It's a little dirty, which is fine, like not a big deal, but this is what we're gonna use to draft my turtle shell. I am going to follow a tutorial from YouTube that I saw a few months ago while I was working about set um, the first time around, and I will be linking that video down in there in the description box, but I'm also gonna be putting the video in the corner, like right over here to show you what I'm working on and what the tutorial is telling me to do. This is my first time ever drafting this way of my turtle shell, but the tutorial that this person provided is really good in my eyes and it came out so well for her. I don't know if I'm gonna use the exact same uh, materials or paints or something like that to replicate it, but I'm gonna do the best I can to my abilities. And the turtle shell is going to be made out of EVA foam, like thick EVA foam, not thin, but it's going to be light enough to put it on my back while my tail is going to be strapped to my corset. So without further ado, let's get started. The first thing we need to do for the shell is make a pattern. So to do this, I'm going to take the big polystyrene half sphere I have and wrap it up in some cling film. I'm then going to cover the cling film with some duct tape, which I can draw onto. I then took my pen and started to draw on all the seams onto the sphere so that when I split it up, it lies completely flat. Make sure that you also add on some registration marks so that when you join the pieces, you know where to connect them to make the shape. I then pulled the tape pattern off the sphere and used my scissors to carefully cut it out. This is what the pattern looks like when it's finally laying flat. I took my pattern and used this to draw onto some 1cm thick EVA foam. When you draw around your pattern, again, make sure that you draw on your registration marks. This pattern is only for half the shell, so make sure that you flip it over and draw it out again in reverse. I then cut out my EVA foam pieces using a nice sharp craft knife. If your craft knife is not sharp, it will rip the foam, so make sure that your knife is nice and sharp so that you get nice clean edges. Once all my pieces were now cut out, I then took some contact glue, put it on each side, let it get a little bit tacky, and then I could connect the two pieces together. Make sure that you carefully line up your registration marks to get the nice curve of the shell. Okay, with an hour, first time at doing something like this, I have made the first half of my turtle shell. Um, I'm a little upset with this part. Like it's not matching, but this size seems to be matching up perfectly. The tape here is just to keep the edges together because sometimes the glue just um, doesn't really stay on quite well, but I'm really happy with it. And in worst case scenario, I can just cut off here because this is the side of the turtle shell. So it's supposed to go, it's supposed to go like this because this is the side I think. Yeah, I think, yeah, yeah. This is supposed to be the back part, and then this is the side, so I can easily just trim here to uh, make it even. Um, it's getting covered up anyway by a white base to go around the shell, but I'm pretty happy with it for the first time uh, doing the method. Um, it's not turning out the same way as that person uh, in the video is doing at the same time, but I don't know, I'm pretty proud of it. And I'm gonna take a break now because this literally took me an hour and I wanna get the other side done uh, quick as possible, but I have to take my son to the dentist. 
So we're gonna take a short break and now we're just gonna work on the other side. It is now the next day and I pretty much worked on the rest of the shell off camera and here it is which I think is pretty good for my first time making something out of a circular form. Um, like I mentioned before, it was not even on one side, more so of the bottom portion of the shell. So I went ahead and I cut around it and smoothed it out a little bit and it actually gave a shape of the turtle shell. So <clears throat> let's see what it looks like behind me. Yeah, I'm going to be taking a break for the next couple of days. Not working on this because the next step in the tutorial, I'm supposed to like make lines and uh, use some kind of um, putty substance. I don't know what it's called on the top of my head to put on and the edges here to make it smoother. I have a friend in London who is going to let me borrow it. Um, next time we have a little cosplay crafting session and she's going to let me use it to smooth out some of my edges and then she's got a dermal or whatever hot stick they, uh, they were using to make the, the lines in the shell. So I ordered foam clay from Artawigs and I ordered about like 25 to almost $30 worth of foam clay. Uh, Perfect timing though, because it's on sale. And that was used to make uh, the turtle shell spikes. I might use it to make the rim around here, since uh, the foam that she suggested to use, uh, I don't have access to that at the moment. And she also wanted me to use heat to give it more shape. I don't know about you, but I like the shape already. It's Really cute. I'm so excited. I can't wait to have this on my back and cosplay Bowsette. Ignore my look for this clip here. Um, I had to do like an interview for a friend when it comes to cosplaying and making cosplays and such, but I just got my foam clay in the mail like a few days ago, so I've been playing around with it. Got around to finishing up all of the spikes for my turtle shell. And I finished up all my bracers, so now they're painted with all the spikes on. Thank God. And then I just did all my mini spikes for my collar, because this needs to be done. I also sketched out my turtle shell, so it's ready to go for using a hot knife that Andrea is going to let me borrow. So now I'm going to show you how that's being done. I am at Andrea's house, and we are working on... The turtle shell with her Mod Podge, and she's working on her World of Warcraft character for Katsukon. So I'm excited. To help fill in the seams on the shell, I used a little bit of gesso canvas primer and smoothed it out with some water. And after that step, uh, Andrea and I took a break from working on the turtle shell because she was going to Katsukon. So I had a weekend to myself. She came by two days ago and let me use her hot knife for the first time. And what? Andrea came over last night to help me work on my turtle shell for Bowsette. And it's got like the rim thing all the way around. Yeah, uh, I'm not touching it because it's still drying. Um, I glued it a few hours ago like it should be dry but i want to wait for 24 hours before painting it it is made out of craft foam she came over with the rest of her craft foam uh, look at it it's so cool and uh yeah because i didn't have enough and that was what i wanted to use uh for the rim of the shell and so now wait for probably until tomorrow I think and then I'm gonna give it to my dad so he can prime it and paint it all white for me to prime all my armor and props I always use cold glue wood glue this is a PVA based wood glue and it makes everything nice and smooth and shiny okay so I did bring my shell to my dad's to paint it 
like I said, but then I realized I needed to put wood glue on it. I missed a step. Uh, so I took it back and then my dad was fighting with me being like, you don't need to take your shell bag. I don't know why wood glue would make a difference and it will make a difference. Like, trust me on this. And I gave it back to him again with, uh, it being all slathered with wood glue, um, you know, dried and whatnot. And he was like, oh yeah, this is going to work out a lot better when I paint it. I know, Dad. Uh, I was told to do it, and I really wanted to do it anyway before giving it to you. I just forgot. I am just waiting for him to paint it. Um, everything else is pretty much done. I'm so happy. Uh, I did a lot of things off camera, so I already made uh, my horns, and I made my collar. What else did I make? I applied Velcro onto the back of my corset so my tail can hang onto it, and it it's kind of finicky, but it's gonna work out. Then I got my fishnets for my arms and my legs, so that's done. Bow's head is pretty much done. I just have to sit here patiently being like, when is my dad going to paint my shell? So uh, before I go to work today, I'm gonna stop by my parents' house. <laughs> if you guys know, they live across the street from me and see where that's gonna be. Um, my dad said that he might not have any green paint for the shell, so I told him if he can just do two coats of white, um, I could probably put the green on top of it myself. It won't look as great, but I'm gonna try my best. And then I will do probably a get ready with me video of how I do a makeup test for Bowsette because Bowsette. <laughs> Her makeup is not like, oh my god, Mad Moxie worthy. It's like pretty basic. It is a basic look, but I want to try and make it look really evil in a way or badass, but not too crazy because, again, it's really, really, really neutral. So, yeah. Anyways, let's go check on my shell. Damn it. My dad is in the freaking house. He should be working. Ooh. Can my dad paint or what? Now we're gonna be working on taping this thing. Gotta tape all the spikes here and the rim. He was really worried that he picked the wrong green, but my dad's like, a master at matching colors and the green he picked was perfect so the green I bought today was kind of useless but I did buy the green uh, paint today to go over the dents here and make it like a gradient like a shadowy thing and then after that I gotta paint this part orange and we're done my god this cosplay it's freaking crazy the way I want to do this. Also, I want to point out I already <laughs> tried my cosplay on and it's a lot. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it is a lot of things to be wearing. Uh, I got things balancing on my head. I've got so many spikes to worry about when it comes to walking around people. I've got a huge swaying tail on the back of my corset. This, this is a little much, but this is so worth it. Also guys, if you're really weirded out by my hair doing all this disastrousness, um, I tried doing something last night and it didn't work with my hair, so this is what I get. I gotta live with it. Coffee's ready. Sashay away. Thank you. Taping is now done. I just have to wait for my dad to come home from picking up my mother. I'm going to drop this off as soon as possible because MTAC is literally in four days and I need to get this done as soon as possible because I need to make sure everything is done and ready so I can start packing it. This shell is taking me so long to do because of my work schedule and my friend's work schedule and it's just so much time consuming but it is worth it. I have been learning a lot of new things from doing this process and I feel more confident in taking on bigger projects. With that being said, 
I am planning on doing a bit project this year. It's gonna take probably a while depending on my workload, but uh, it's a character I've always wanted to do. Uh, I'm not gonna leak it out yet, but it's gonna be great and I can't wait to get started on it, but let's go and drop this off in a few minutes and then I will show you what it will look like when it's green. My dad called me when I was at work today and he was all like, hey, I finished painting your turtle shell, so come on by after work and pick it up so you can finish it. And I just got home from work and Oh my god, it's so freaking pretty. Oh, what? What is this, Dad? There are a few spikes around that have a few uh, green spots, which is not a big deal because I did pick up white paint just in case for this reason. So after I fix all of that, I am going to start doing the green bits as the white paint dries on the spike, and it should be done i am tired because i just finished painting i didn't record a lot of myself painting it um a lot of it was done by hand and the angle i was trying to film it was weird but it is done it is finally done and my table's a mess but it is finally done i am so happy um, so I did my best try to cover the white as much with the orange if necessary. I am not gonna bother trying to color match the green on the shell with what I have. It's just it's too much of a headache. And now all I have to do is figure a way to mount it, but that is it for making my spiked turtle shell. Uh, for a Bowsette, um, I'm pretty much done at Bowsette. Um, I did not show uh, a video of myself making the horns or anything else because I just, I forgot. I was just in the heat of the moment and I was just like, go, go, go. So I didn't record that, but I will do a showcase video for you guys of that Bowsette cosplay. Um, probably gonna record it for MTAC, but by the time that comes out, MTAC is probably over. So if you guys liked this video of me struggling on making this shell by following a tutorial by, I don't know how to say her name at the top of my head, but I will put the video down below in the description box of what I followed. May not be, perfect but I like my shell I really really do it's a big accomplishment for me and if you want to follow me on my other social media accounts all the links are down below in the description box as well and make sure you subscribe because I plan on doing more projects such as these this was so much fun I had learn so many things from doing this and i uh, i just now like i mentioned before i want to make bigger projects working with eva foam that i have lying around and i want to do a lot of new things with craft foam and whatnot so again i would say thank you guys so much for watching and i greatly appreciate it and if you have better suggestions on how i made this turtle shell like Tell me, because there are a million ways of learning how to do new things and uh, different techniques. Also, let me know in the comments below what was your favorite moment of me working on about that. And I would like to say thank you guys so much for watching. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.